Hey, today we are checking this Bluetooth FM transmitter for your car to connect to your phone over Bluetooth and stream stream your music and voice calls over FM radio frequencies to your radio so you don't have to wire anything if you don't have a Bluetooth in your car or auxiliary port uh, to connect your phone to it. The installation is very easy. You have this nice little mount that you need to stick into your air vent. Then take the device and place it over here. It pops right into place because it's magnetic. So when it's in the right position you will know for sure. It's, it holds very firmly. And now the other end of this wire goes to your 12 volt socket. Just to keep the interior aesthetic, let's guide this over here. I have this wired a little bit better, so there's no wires laying around, maybe except here. I could do this uh, without the uh, waterfall console and guide the cable under it, but I want to stay portable, so if I want to take this uh, out from my car, I can still do it. As you can see we have two USB ports so you don't have to compromise between using the transmitter and charging your phone. In fact you have a separate port for another device if you need to charge as many devices at the same time. Okay, I think we are all set up so now let's turn on the ignition and over here we can check the frequency that the transmitter is set to 87.7 so let's set the radio to this frequency eighty-seven point seven and let's connect let's connect the phone to the Bluetooth transmitter And we are connected, so let's check if it works. Let's play something from uh, from Spotify, for example. Okay, I want to avoid uh, YouTube copyright claims, so I cannot play the music and show it on the on the video. But please believe me, that music is here, and when I press play, you can hear it in the, in the car speaker. Okay, let's test it on YouTube because here I have some Creative Commons music, so we can play it without any worries. And as you can see and hear, this device is the default uh, sound card, let's say it's sound card for the phone. So all the, all the sounds are going through Bluetooth. You can watch YouTube videos, you can stream uh, other um, uh, video services over it. You can use your navigation and use the voice guardians. Uh, all that using your car's stereo without the need to wire anything. Everything is wireless. You are streaming over the Bluetooth to the device and the device is streaming to your radio over FM frequencies. But when you are driving you don't want to reach for your phone. You have this device over here and there are some buttons over here so let's check how to control your phone using the device. We have this wheel which you can use to adjust the volume. And when you press the wheel, you can pause and play your music and uh, answer your calls and, and also end the calls. On the side there are two more buttons which you can use to browse through your audio library. So when you press here you go to the next track and with the upper one you go to the previous one. As you can see we are using the 87.7 frequency, but if you press and hold on one of those buttons you can change the frequency to find something that is more available and noise free. As I said this can also be used as your hands free kit, so there's a little hole over here, there's a microphone inside. It's best to place this device close to your head, so when you are speaking the mic picks up your, uh, your speech.
There's also a micro SD uh, card port over here, so we can stick a memory card inside with MP3 files and uh, play them through the device, not from our phone. I have memory card inside and I'm still connected to my phone, so when I press and hold over here, play by TF card. We can hear that the device just switched to the memory card. We can adjust the volume, change tracks. And when we want, we can pause and play the tracks. So let's go back to Bluetooth. Bluetooth mode. And one more thing that we need to check. Uh, I have my iPhone connected over the Bluetooth, so let's check if I can use uh, my voice assistant over here. Hey Siri, what's the time right now in Sydney, Australia? In Sydney, Australia, it's 22.24. Hey Siri, I want to go home. Getting directions to home. Okay, some functions of course require my finger on the finger scanner because my home uh, home location is secured by Touch ID. But all the other functions that you are um, used to use uh, with your um, with your voice assistant are available over here without any problem. Okay, overall I do recommend this device. The quality is very good and uh, I have to say it's the first Bluetooth FM transmitter that I actually like and enjoyed. The signal strength is, is very high. I compared it to another devices and to uh, a regular radio station, uh, radio stations nearby using the BMW uh, radio hidden menu which, show you, uh, which shows you the signal strength. And this device uh, when it's connected to your car is uh, stronger, the signal is stronger than my nearby radio stations. And there is no buzzing or humming when there's no audio playing through and you have your uh, you have your speakers turned up high. So there's no buzzing from the power source or um, any other interference that I do find sometime in other transmitters. If you want to buy one of those, you can check the link in the description below this video. Also check my other tutorials and reviews. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this video helped you and uh, subscribe for future videos. See you soon.